In Greek mythology, the Gorgons are three terrifying creatures with wings and snake hair. It's said that they turned anyone they looked at to stone. There was a group of animals named after the Gorgons, the Gorgonopsids. Today we will be looking at the largest of these Permian super predators. The Gorgonopsids are an extinct group of saber-toothed therapsids that dominated many Middle and Upper Permian ecosystems. Inostrancevia was the largest representative of this group, more precisely the species Inostrancevia latifrons. The genus Inostrancevia also includes the species Inostrancevia alexandri, Inostrancevia uralensis and the only recently described Inostrancevia africana. Inostrancevia alexandri is the type species of Inostrancevia. It was named after the Russian geologist and paleontologist Alexander Inostrantsev and described by the Russian paleontologist Vladimir Amalitsky. The largest species of Inostrancevia, Inostrancevia latifrons, grew to over 3.5 meters or 11.5 feet in length and weighed up to 300 kilograms or 661 pounds. Its skull alone could grow up to 60 centimeters or 2 feet and was equipped with large saber teeth. Despite its size and dimensions, it is believed that Inostrancevia was fast and swift due to its proportionally large limbs compared to other Gorgonopsids. It also had much stronger and sturdier front legs compared to the hind legs. These could have been used for hunting. Inostrancevia's most dangerous weapon, however, were its saber-toothed canines. These reached the size of 15 cm or 5.9 inches. But how would it use these canines in life? Well, to answer that, we will have to take a look at the hunting strategies of Inostrancevia. Inostrancevia probably would have used its canine teeth like a knife that is, to cut through flesh. It could go either for the belly or the neck of its prey and kill it quickly, which would work well on small prey in particular. However, for larger prey there is another theory that many researchers consider more likely. It would ambush its prey and inflict as much damage as possible with one single bite and then temporarily get out of the danger zone just to repeat the process and kill the animal over time. Its prey could potentially die from shock and or blood loss. This theory is considered the most likely because Inostrancevia could open its mouth very wide and thus inflict large bites on its prey. Inostrancevia would have been able to tear large pieces of meat from its prey. Furthermore, Inostrancevia probably swallowed pieces of meat whole, like many of the theropod dinosaurs. It is also possible that Inostrancevia was involved in fights against its own kind, be it to defend its territory or a carcass or just to attract mating partners. It could have used both its legs and its teeth, which certainly could have ended badly sometimes. So where did this mega predator live and what were its prey items? Inostrancevia latifrons, Inostrancevia uralensis and Inostrancevia Alexandria lived in the European part of modern day Russia, while Inostrancevia africana lived in South Africa. The European part of Russia was a cold desert environment. A cold desert is a habitat with the primary rainfall in winter or spring instead of the summer, and heavy temperature fluctuations causing hot summers and cold winters. The area was dominated by fluvial deposits, which means that it was formed by rivers and streams. The climate on the other hand was semi-arid to arid, with multiple shallow water lakes that were periodically flooded. Eurasian Inostrancevia specimens would have encountered many ways of life, including ostracods, fishes, reptiliomorphs, the Temnospondyl dinosaurus, the Pariasaur scutosaurus, the Dicynodon vivaxosaurus, and the Cynodon dwinia. Inostrancevia was the top predator in its environment. It would have preyed on the majority of the tetrapods that lived in the area, including scutosaurus, vivaxosaurus, and dwinia. In South Africa, Inostrancevia africana lived in a well drained floodplain. The area was relatively diverse with a variety of plants and animals. The most common animals in the area were the cynodonts. Among the most abundant cynodonts were Daptocephalus, Dictodon and Lystrosaurus. Few genera of pterocephalians are known from the site. Only Moshoninos and Pteriognathus. Furthermore, the Cynodont Prosinosuchus also lived here. Inostrancevia africana would have been the main predator in the area, most likely preying on contemporary Cynodonts. Inostrancevia was the dominant predator of Middle and Late Permian Russia and South Africa, and no other animal could compete with its size, speed and strength. 
Innostrand C we are only died out at the end of the Permian in the greatest of all mass extinction events, the Great Dying. Large animals are greatly affected by such events in general. And with Innostrand C we are being the biggest predator of the Upper Permian, we can only imagine the hardships it had to face. The triggers for this mass extinction are believed to be gargantuan and what seem to be everlasting volcanic eruptions in what is now the Siberian traps. This mass extinction killed off over 90% of all life on land and in the water, including all of the Gorgonopsids. And so this event ultimately was the end of the line for the Innostrancevia. That's it for the video about the Innostrancevia. The biggest and strongest of all Gorgonopsids. Leave a like if you liked it, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to never miss out on any content in the future. You can also check out the playlist for further content about prehistoric times. And with that I wish you a nice day or evening. Megaraptor out.